40 years have passed since the new Brockton High School first opened its doors to the youth of its city. Four decades later, Brockton High School celebrates its legacy towards supporting community partnerships, educating the students, as well as mentoring past and present students and faculty gathered at Marciano Stadium to appreciate Boxer Spirit. <laughs> First of all, happy birthday to Brockton High School. And um, today was our spirit day. So you should have seen the school. And as an alumni, you would have been so proud. The school was a sea of red and black. Everybody was red and black. Face has been, and then at one o'clock, we had the entire senior class out on the field for their class picture 2011. And then after school, we had a faculty alumni photo, because we have over 50 faculty members who are Brockton High School alumni, so we did that. And then it's topped off with this very special homecoming night. So it is just awesome. I'm just happy. Behind every fun night are a lot of people who have put in hours and hours. And Kathy Smith and the whole community school group has pitched in to help us. And um, so, because it's also not just about Brockton High, it's also starting off the 40th for the community schools. And so, all, from, from the halftime show, from JROTC, from the band, I mean, all of the things that go into something like this, Chotwell's donated the food. I mean, that's awesome. And so, it really was, we're very good at team things, newbie, and this is a really good example of a team effort. Today is very exciting, and it truly is a kickoff celebration. Happy birthday to Brockton High and to our community school programs. And certainly, this is for all of the citizens in Brockton, all of the people, graduates of this wonderful institution, and also people that have come through the doors. And I've had more and more people say to me, I remember doing that Get Ready program from community schools in the summer. I remember taking courses in the adult enrichment and recreation. So this is truly an opportunity to celebrate all that we are here in the city of Brockton. As you look, we have banners from 1971 all the way to 2014, which is our freshman class here at Brockton High. So tonight you're in for a treat. We have a wonderful halftime show with Vinnie Macrina, Carol Thomas and the crew, our halftime dancers, our majorettes, our band, and we're including alumni in the halftime show. So you'll see them grabbing their flags. We'll be hearing tunes from the 70s when the school opened and there will truly be a procession of flags and a treat for you to see at the end of the halftime show. So please stay tuned. I looked out over here and I saw the sea of people. And I thought, oh, unbelievable. You know, what a, what a, great, what a great way to kick off the 40th celebration, you know, with everybody come back, coming back. And Box of Pride is well and alive, you know. I'm a transplanted, you know, I'm not originally from Brockton, but when people ask me where, you know, where my home is, my home is here in Brockton. You know, all of my kids went through the schools and everything else. This is certainly a place that, that is, is really unique in the sense of uh, we're, a, we're a, a rather large city, but yet we're a, you know, we're a small little town, we're a small little community, and, and, and I think you see it tonight. <laughs> to tell you, Brockton High School gave me and provided me incredible opportunities that I wouldn't have had if I went to any other school. Um, I learned about television production here, which I'm sure you all can appreciate, and uh, that allowed me to go on to Syracuse University and study that, and um, I would never have been able to do the things that I did after high school if I had not gotten the great education that I did here, because it, I learned how to work with people, I learned how to function in a big group, you learn how to take care of yourself. I mean, it's important, the life lessons you learn in high school, and especially when you go to a high school like this. Help! Help! Right leg butt! Help! Help! Left leg! Help! I worked on this high school back in uh, 1970. Actually, I started in 1968 and worked on this high school and many other schools, but this was a work of love for me. Uh, the vision that the school committee, the uh, city council had in uh, proposing and eventually building the school deserve a, a tremendous amount of credit. And uh, even though there were a few problems in the beginning because it was such a large school, uh, we still prevailed and everywhere I go now, when I speak of Brockton High School, I speak of it with a great deal of pride. Their academics, their athletics, the, the fine arts program, absolutely superb for 
a city that's been on hard times. And uh, so for me, working on the high school, the stadium, was uh, actually a work of love for me. We had a lot of great memories here. Uh, you know, always our sports teams, the football team, we were so proud of. This high school has so much opportunity for students. And uh, I was shy back in high school, believe it or not, and people will never believe that now. But, uh, you know, there was such good memories here. There's such opportunity here, and uh, it's gotten better every year, even after I graduated and Tom graduated. Uh, the, the system and the school system at Brockton High and the teachers and Dr. Zachwitz does a great job. The stuff we had, the planetarium, that Olympic swimming pool, all the opportunities, T I worked at the TV studio, uh, the track team we had, they gave us everything, sweatshirts, sweatshirt, suits, uh, the, the shoes. You know, it was just, uh, we were given everything you could imagine. One of the things that um, we always like is that kids now really feel connected to the school and they stay. You know, you've come after school and the place will be, you think school's in session at 3.30 and that's a good thing. And the kids, even though they're still students here, the, like the football boys were talking today, they're like, we want to win this for you guys. You know, it's a real feeling of community and family. And even though people hear, they hear 4,300 kids, oh no, it really is a close family and it's a lot of fun. And it, it's a special place to be. And nights like this, you really get the feeling about it. Turns the corner, has got an opening, and he takes advantage. He's going to go in for a touchdown. Offley with an easy touchdown from about 29 yards out. Let's call it a 29-yard touchdown, and that was pitch a perfect.